Welcome to writing, publishing, marketing, and making tons of money selling your first book. If you have joined this course, you are interested in writing a book. Although this course is targeted towards business and life coaches, anyone with a desire to write a book can benefit from the course information. Your book will open doors, endow you with authority, proclaim your expert status in your field, distinguish you from competing coaches who haven't written a book, help you grow your following, developing those not yet ready for coaching into passionate fans who believe in you, help you become known for your exact specialty and passion. Having your own book also makes it much easier to attract new clients. You don't have to bend over backwards proving yourself to them. Your book does it for you. Plus, you don't have to waste time offering free consultations. Potential clients can simply read your book and try it before they buy your services. An added bonus, they will have already paid money for your book unless you're offering it for free. And as you know, once someone has made the commitment to pay for your services, it's much easier to keep them to invest further. It is not that hard to become a best-selling author with the right promotion. And best-selling author remains one of the strongest social validation badges you can earn. Let's take a look at a selection of coaches who have written and promoted their own books. After we've gone through our case studies, I'm going to ask you to decide what does each book tell you about each coach? Case study number one, Carrie Wilkerson, the Barefoot Executive. By her own admission, Carrie Wilkerson mostly enjoys helping ordinary people live extraordinary lives. Note that she uses her most well-known handle, the Barefoot Executive, as her book title. With what the book offers to the reader as the subtitle, the ultimate guide for being your own boss and achieving financial freedom. Her coaching practice is based on helping entrepreneurs kick up to the next level and attain real financial freedom. If potential readers are not yet ready for coaching, this book helps them to prepare themselves to be her ideal clients. A high achiever with heart and experience this book gives readers a taste of Wilkerson's personality, ethics, strategies, and assistance. Case study number two, Jenny Fenig. Keywords like sacred, soul, and calling tell the reader this coach is all about transformational changes. And she uses these keywords in her subtitle while her title, Get Gutsy, is short, punchy, and memorable. She uses the Get Gutsy Gal, and you need to create your own unique, short, memorable handle too. Jenny Fumig uses her book in a direct, targeted way, unique among coaches, as the first step in her invitation to work with her. Step one, buy her book and work through it. Step two, join her landmark program, the Live Your Dream Eight Week Challenge. Step three, enroll in the Get Gutsy Coach Training School. And to make taking the first step investment even easier, she offers a free sample chapter of the book. She takes full advantage of the chance to prepare clients before they ever become clients by making it easy for them to invest in the book and guiding them clearly on how to do this with her calls to action. Spiritual harmony aside, that's just great marketing. Case study number three, Denise Duffield Thomas. Once again, we see our coach entrepreneur using a catchy, simple handle in her website and marketing, Lucky B-I-T-C-H which she repeats in the title of her book. 
There is an earlier book just simply called Lucky B-I-T-C-H, which tells the story of her own personal financial mind shift. This handle won't be for everybody. It may actually repel some. It's one of the reasons why I spelled it out rather than just say the word itself. Some people may feel it's not a bad thing. Her title weeds out those who won't resonate with her unique persona and voice. She uses her book within the first few opening pages to actively invite readers to her website. Her book also contains a clear promise of what she will help the reader to achieve as well as speaking with her unique voice. Denise Stuffield Thomas also promotes her book right on her homepage and offers a free sample chapter. In addition, she also directs visitors and readers to her website section on how to retain her as a speaker or guest. All three of our coach authors make maximum use of their books to qualify the perfect action-taking clients, gain credibility, brand themselves, qualify themselves as experts in their unique fields, convert readers into loyal clients and followers, generate strong promotional opportunities, attract more leads. One final reason to write a book if you're a coach, and it's the most important one, is yourself. Writing a book, if done properly, can help you clarify your single most unique specialty and calling, declutter your practice of anything that does not aid this calling, zero in on the most important ways to help your audience, reignite your own passion and bolster your self-confidence. But what if I'm not a writer? If you have been telling yourself that writing is not your thing, consider this. You speak to your clients, don't you? You have conversations they find really helpful. You verbally help clients zero in on their issues. You make verbal recommendations on what to do about these issues. You ask probing, helpful questions to prompt clients into providing their own answers. You provide your clients with tools and instructions that make their process easier. When a coach writes a book, he or she simply needs to speak directly to her clients or his clients, just as if you would if you were actually in a session with one. You can be as conversational as you like. In fact, as we have seen particularly with Denise Duffield Thomas's book, it's best to use your own voice because personality can be an important qualifier in attracting the right clients and repelling the wrong ones. You can also use tricks such as recording your books, then having someone transcribe it for you, or use speech to text software and having your virtual assistant clean up all the inaccurate words. Another trick, if you want to call it that, is interview 10 top peers in your field and have the resulting interviews transcribed by a qualified person. And if you use a person to transcribe, it's important to use one that understands how to accurately eliminate and fill in words. An example, getting rid of words like mmm and too many repetitious and meaningless phrases like you know, plus inserting the right word to make a spoken comment make sense when later read by your reader. This is a real knack, almost an art form, so investing in a good person who understands how to transcribe is essential. If you don't want to do this type of cleanup for yourself, Plus, if you go to interview the 10 guests route, just think of the possibilities for growing your list 
in a joint venture situation. You promote your guests, he or she promotes you and your book. That's 10 people all letting their list know about your book. And even if you have to give the book away to your guests, let's remember, think of the qualified leads you can generate by doing this. Plus, last but not least, and especially if you set a market competitive price on your book, it will act as passive income for you, as well as being a promotional tool you can use anytime. 